Hello friends, and now we will discuss about um, passive components of microwave devices. Uh, that is one of uh, microwave devices very interesting. That is uh, power dividers. We have discussed that is called as magic T. Why this is called as magic T? Uh, this is the T junction, or it is a power divider. It is the combination of E plane T as well as H plane T, and it has four ports. See here, port 1, this is port 2, port 4 and port 3 is here. Port 3 is E arm, port 4 is H arm. That is, if you hear port 4 is parallel to magnetic field, so this is called as H arm. The H refers to magnetic field. Whereas port 3 is E arm, where E refers to electric field. Right, and port 1 and 2 is, these two are called as, combinedly called as collinear arms. And it is a straight transmission line. Right. So, uh, what is magic T and uh, what is the use of magic T? And uh, this is the construction, right? This is the basic construction. It is a combination of E plane as well as H plane T and put together we have four ports, one, two, three, four. You know how it works actually? And if you give power at uh, port one, it will be split into port two, port three, port four. Similarly, if you give power at port two, it will split into power at port one, port three and port four. Now, if we give power at port 3, what will happen? The power will be equally divided and split into port 1 as well as port 2 with equal magnitude and uh, the 50% of power will, uh, will be coming from port 2 and remaining will be at port 1. But none of the power is coming to port 4. And also, while uh, transmitting power from port 3, it will equally divide at port 1 and 2 but phase will be opposite. How the phase is opposite because of the orientation of field component at the middle point that, that will be uh, interchanged. So we have here if it is 0 degree power and at port 2 will be 180 degree. And what is the power from port 3 to port 4? 0 power. Okay. Port 3 to port 4 power will not be coupled, power will not be divided. Similarly, if you apply power at port 4, Power will be equally divided port 1 as well as port 2 but equal phase. The phase shifting and equal phase that is everything is based around the orientation or the uh, uh, the field how it is divided at the middle. That is according to that it can, either it can be equally divided or equal phase or unequal phase. Right. So port 3 to port 4 or port 4 to port 3 there is no power is coupled so these are called as isolated ports right these are called as isolated, isolated ports and power is transmitted from 1 and 2 if equal phase and port 4 the power will be added so this, wow. call, this is called as sum port and if power is at 1 and 2 with equal magnitude and out of phase the power will be added here okay right and uh, next uh, part here we are going to discuss about what are the characteristics of eh plane t or hybrid t or uh, magic t right that already we have discussed and then there is no power is coupled between four, 4 and 3 so these are called as isolated ports and how to derive uh, the s matrix the s matrix is the uh, it says about the properties of EH plane. Since it has four ports, we have to frame S is equal to four cross four matrix that is started from S11 to S44. The 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 4, everything is the orientation of the ports, right? And uh, so after substituting all the properties of S parameter here, we have uh, for H plane T junctions, S23 is equal to S13. That is power coupling from 1 to 3 is equal to 2 to 3 as well as 3 to 2 is equal to 3 to 1. Similarly, power from 1 to 4 is equal to 4 to 1. Power from 4 to 2 is equal to 2 to 4. Power from this side is equal to opposite of that side. That is what here I have written S24 is equal to minus S14. Right. Because of E plane, there is a phase. The minus indicates the phase shifting. And what is this? S34 is equal to S43 is equal to 0. It is says about isolated ports. Because between 4 and 3, no power is coupled. So this is called as isolated port. If you apply all these three in the above expressions, we have uh, to modification of this. So here uh, port 3 and port 4 are uh, 
newly added ports in the transmission line because one and two is these two are uh, collinear ports and three and four uh, these two ports are perfectly aligned with the transmission line and because of this we don't have any such reflections so we can take s33 is equal to s44 is equal to zero so substitute everything here then the above s matrix this s matrix can be modified into this terms because s12 here is this also s12 because earlier it was s21 s12 is equal to s21 power fit between 2 to 1 is equal to power between 1 to 2 because it is a reciprocal device okay so after modification while taking unitary matrix so we have uh, this expression so we have if we take r1 c1 multiplications we are getting equation number 8 r2 c2 multiplication we are getting equation number 9 r2, r1 c1 is nothing but row 1 from here and uh, column 1 from here so this is s into s star is equal to i that is from uh, unitary matrix okay so this is the formula that is unitary property s s star is equal to i so now by taking r1 c1 r2 c2 r3 c3 r4 c4 we have these expressions and from this we can understand two times s13 is equal to 1 so s13 is equal to 1 by 2 so this is what we have s13 is equal to 1 by root 2 as similarly s14 is equal to 1 by root 2 and s11 is equal to s22 uh, because we are comparing equation number uh, yeah while comparing these two equations we have s12 cancelled and s13 cancelled remaining we have s11 is equal to s22 that's what we have taken here then while substituting all these values in the uh, either 12th e e this equation or this e equation we have this expression and now this 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 will be 1 and this 1 minus 1 will be 0 and when this condition will be satisfied if s11 as well as s2, s12 if both are equal to 0 then this condition will be satisfied so after uh, substituting all the values we have uh, s matrix of uh, magic t is this so s11 0 s12 s21 0 s22 0 s33 0 s44 0 all diagonal elements are 0 it is the ideal case ok so it means what all the ports are perfectly matched and there is no reflection coefficient in any four port device if any of two ports are perfectly matched it says about the other two ports are also perfectly aligned ok that is the meaning of this so now while framing in a complete S matrix B is equal to S into A where B is the reflected signal that is equal to S parameter multiplied with the incident waves so this is the complete structure of S matrix of a magic T so with this we will complete the magic T expression thank you